We're back on the Boeing 747 and today is stage, stage two. two of the hatch. Let's go inside. MT-747 ferry flight to Medina. Come up here. This is a secret hidden world. So we just landed at Medina, 43 degrees. Is the weather too hot for takeoff right now? There's a sea of people right now and the crew are trying their best to help them, to guide them to their seats. Maximum takeoff rate. They just uh, achieved one of the biggest moment in their life. Special from Makassar culture. Hi! How are you? Hi! This is a once a lifetime experience. I'm back on the 747 and today is stage two of the Hajj flight. Let's go. Would you listen to the screaming sound of the 747, the APU? Amazing, it just gives you really pumped up when you go inside 74. Let's go. Just commence the pushback. You can hear the engine starting in sequence. And uh, time 7.15 p.m. sunset time, we're out of here, Fujera. Indonesian uh, 1201 confirm for the ready. Pull it ready for departure runway 11 right, Indonesian 1201. Indonesian 19201, service wind 130 east for North Run 1 right, clear for takeoff. So this is one of the perks to get on an MT-747 ferry flight to Medina. First thing first, let me eat because in about two hours when we land, 450 people is going to join. What we bought is some kebab from a local shop in Fujera. So we have chicken kebab, lamb kebab, and kubi day. I just don't think anything will get better than this. Having the entire 747 main deck to myself. And I'm sitting even ahead of the captain upstairs in the front at the nose here. Beautiful sunset, eating a kebab, amazing aviation life. All right, got my foot down my belly. It's time to do some exercise. Let's go down to check out the entire MT-747, right? Now, I was a little scared, I was honestly want to tell you, because I was the only one sitting up front and look at the whole main deck. It's completely empty. You know, no one in the galley, no one in the toilet, hopefully no one, it's empty. All right, come down. Because I was worried that someone might tap on your shoulder. I'm sure you hear ghost stories about it. I'm sure there's also ghosts on the airplane. So this is the upper deck, you go up. Imagine in a couple of hours, all of the seats will be filled. It'll be very happy to carry all the pilgrims going home. On our flight right now, it's just a ferry flight. We have only the um, pilots flying upper deck in the cockpit. And also we have a few technicians and mechanics. So there's no cabin crew. The cabin crew from Garuda is gonna join us at Medina. Empty seats, miles and miles, and hundreds and hundreds of empty seats everywhere. So this is the end point here. This is where the four bathroom in the area. Aha, uh -huh. follow me, this is interesting. I'm gonna go upstairs. Come up here. Wow. Can you see it? This is a secret hidden world of crew bunks. So this crew will actually rest here. Very interesting, 747 has a mini upper deck in the rear where all the crew rests are. Good evening, everybody. My name is Yuri, my colleague Sergei. We are flying from Fujera to Madina, flight level 360. 
we departed from Fujero with uh, takeoff weight uh, 230 tons. And uh, now I'm at 360 and expecting to be at uh, Medina uh, in 35 uh, 40 minutes. Medina Tower, good evening, Indonesia 1201 Heavy, establish localizer, runway 35, information kill. Salam, hello, Indonesia 1201, continue approach, runway 35. Continue approach, uh, 35, Indonesia 1201. Destination 1201, runway 35, point 31014 north, please land. 100. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Indonesia 1201, forget to the right side, Juliet 4, Juliet, contact ground 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 Juliet 4, uh, Juliet 1219, Erma Salama, Indonesia 1201. So we just landed at Medina. We got about one and a half hour on the ground. So you can see every minute counts. The catering is getting loaded. The cargo is getting coming in here. There's going to be a crew change, refill. And the ground temperature, 43 degrees. And Medina is also high altitude, 2,100 feet. Airplane doesn't like heat, doesn't like high altitude. That's why we're taking off tonight. So this is my first time inside Medina Airport Terminal. It's actually pretty organized. They got jet bridge. Um, 15 years ago, I came once on a transit flight on Saudi. There was no jet bridge. It looks pretty organized so far from what I've seen. I was told we expect 450 passengers, but I think there's maybe two, three hundreds out here. So there's going to be more to come. We are expecting to board in 45 minutes. One trolley is the uh, 19, 19 snack box. This is the second service. Huh? Okay, oh, this is the snack then. Yeah, yeah and the breakfast. 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 I'm drained by this weather. It's incredibly hot on the ramp. So much respect for the people who work here day, night, and years. At the same time, so much respect for the pilgrims who's here for 30 days, 42 days. A 51 degree extreme heat doing harsh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but us offload and one by one pallet forward. So we need to do offload and put it back side and offload the balance. So. so I need a backup high loader and I need a two transporter. Right. Is the weather too hot for takeoff right now? Yes, pretty hot. Also, we will need to, to wait at least maybe around one hour to wait until the temperature at here at uh, Medina will drop down at least one Celsius degree down. One, uh, one degree Celsius give you better yes, performance? Yes, lower than now. Yes, now we have 42 and our performance allows us to perform the takeoff at least at a maximum 40 degrees Celsius. So right now it's 10.35 p.m. We passed already our scheduled departure time. There's multiple issues. The weather is still hot, it's not coming down, so they're going to decide whether they're going to offload some pallets to reduce the weights so we can take off, or we wait for the temperature to drop a few degrees, then we take off with everything. There was a shortage of catering, but eventually the caterer brought more on board, and we started boarding one hour behind the schedule. It's incredible. I have never seen so much elderly. And the crew literally had to carry a lot of elderly to walk to their seats. I think they're exhausted. I met a lady from Makassar. Mm, What's yeah. your name? My name is Eka Devi Atman. Eka? Mm. Right, Eka. Eka. You hungry? Yeah. Very hungry. Sleepy? Sleepy. Oh, tired. Mm. But I'm happy. You happy? You come alone? Alone. Hatch? My, alone. Uh, alone. Uh, my husband is uh, dying. Oh, no. Uh, 
uh, but I come here uh, with my parents. The boarding is still underway. It's been some time now. Um, I feel heavier in my mood right now. I don't know why, but I've seen so many elderly people came here and they really are struggling going back home. There's a seed of people right now and the crew are trying their best to help them, to guide them to their seats. Uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vitaly, I'm with you again today. Uh, our flight is Garuda Indonesia flight 1201. We are flying today from Medina to Makassar. Today with me, my colleague Anton. Hello guys. Last time, last previous flight. Uh, we are expecting to fly today uh, almost 11 hours. And I want to ask you how much takeoff weight we have. Ah, today we have a takeoff weight uh, six, uh, 370 tons. Almost uh, maximum 370. It's, it's close. maximum. We yes, maximum takeoff weight we can reach today uh, because of restrictions in the outside temperature, which is quite high today. All the cargoes loaded or some are offloaded? No, no, no. We took all cargo. Yeah, all cargo. Number three stop will open. Cancel, guys. Cancel. Let's check. Indonesia 1201, ready for taxi number 35. 1201 taxi via Whiskey, Juliet, Hot Report Runway 35. Whiskey, Juliet, Hot Report. Uh, Good evening, Indonesia 1201, passing 3200 feet. Indonesia 1201, good morning, great ride in flight, climb flat level 230, unrestricted. Climb flat level 230, unrestricted, Indonesia 1201. So we finally took off at half past midnight and flying southeasterly direction. Our routes take us from Saudi Arabia to Oman initially, then across the Indian Ocean towards India and Sri Lanka and continue towards Indonesia. There were lots of thunderstorm activities near Mumbai FIR. However, the air traffic control couldn't grant us a higher altitude. We remained flying at a lower altitude at 29,000 feet and encountered some turbulence. The seatbelt sign was on for a long time.
it for uh, to celebrate that they uh, already complete their Hajj activity. Yes. Like that. Yeah. And where does outfit come from? Uh, it's from uh, Makassar. Makassar. You only will see it in Makassar because it's um it's a uh, special from Makassar. This outfit. It has gold on it. Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like this. So they put it in the, on her head. Maafe ibu ya. Begini kah ibu? Pilgrims to do makeup uh, when they change their clothes because they're just uh, honorable things for us flight attendant and we're just interesting because they just uh, achieve one of the biggest moment in their life. You know this is a culture, uh, special from Makassar culture. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Right. And for men, you don't do much for ladies. Ah uh, yeah, just for ladies. Just for the ladies. Uh, you know, uh -huh. she's grandma. You know, she's grandma. Grandma. But you can see, you yeah, can see, you know, it's like very girl. young. Very yes. young. Hi. Hi! How are you? Good, good. Hi. Nice to see you. Yeah. My name is Anna. Anna. I live in Cenawasi. Ah. I'm from uh, Indonesia. Thank you. Nice to, you. nice to meet you. Yeah. So, this is incredible. I never had this on a flight. The people are calling me, say, Sam, come take a photo of us. Let's go. Oh, wow, this is so beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Amazing. It really woke me up. It even, I mean, we're in different background, different language, different religion. But I can feel their happiness. They change into their costume after waiting for so long to go to Hajj. They accomplished it. It was a long endurance journey. And now they're all going home in their beautiful costume. I bet they're going to show off to their relatives and friends. And it's going to be a really big celebration when we land. So here's Mr. Riz Ayadi. He's actually the leader. How many people in your group? For Hajj? Yeah, normally 550. 550 people? people You're yeah. the leader. Yeah, we spend 42 days in Medina and Mecca. Uh, around 8 until 9 days in Medina. Uh, we just pray all up there and then sit some religious site there. After that, we move to the Medina Mecca, waiting for Arafah. Arafah is a one day stay in the uh, Har uh, Rahmah Mount. After that, we move to the Musdalifa and Mina. So this is, we do it, so we call Haji. I heard the weather very hot. Yeah. Did uh, all the people come back on the same group or somebody has became sick and passed away? Okay, luckily we are full group coming back. Oh. Uh, so around 40, uh, 440 go and the back 442. Amazing. Yeah, Everybody amazing. came Everybody back. Everybody came back. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Hayya ala salah. Hayya ala prayers during the flight. Earlier when I woke up and there was uh, the whole cabin was burst into festivity. People were doing makeups on their face, uh, especially the ladies changing into the Makassar costumes. It was a lot of fun. Then there was another prayer took place and the whole cabin became quiet and solemn. I think again this is their time to talk with the God. Um, so they became again very solemn and serious. So we also prepare a special gift for our passengers because they love taking photos so much. Uh, we have made a little interactive board, cardboard, a frame to take pictures for our passengers because they've been so lovely and they love to take pictures. Hi. It's been a 
long journey home for everyone on board. Uh, the flight's 11 hours and we just started our top of descent. Uh, I still remember on stage one I came and everybody was wearing the religious robes. Um, it was a little bit more tense, but they were excited to get to Saudi Arabia. And now it's completely different atmosphere. They're still uh, very excited. They change into their costumes, colorful costumes. And then they feel probably proud and they feel very content and peaceful going home. I still struggle to explain, to describe the whole feeling because there's so much went through me. All I know is this is a once in a lifetime experience. It doesn't matter now what seats, what food you ate, or what entertainment you watch on the plane. It's a completely different aviation experience. And I hope you are with me and enjoy this experience together. Indonesia 121, left heading 090, descent 4000 feet. Again, uh, 090, descent 4000, Indonesia 1201. Yes, cabin, go. Captain, this is Persa speaking. Cabin ready for landing, Cap. Thank you. This is Indonesian 1201. Could you advise a tower, please? Uh, upon arrival, we will need 10 wheelchairs. Indonesia 1201, Roger. Stand by for wheelchair. Indonesia 1201, Roger. Indonesia 1201. Surface wind, 3 This is their homecoming. I'm so glad all the way. More than 12 hours journey together from Saudi Arabia to Makassar here. And now they go to board buses and go home, have a good rest. And what a great memorable trip. Here is the two guys flying us in the front and they both speaking Russian together and flying 450 Indonesian pilgrims. Can you believe it? It's international. Definitely. Tell me about your feeling about landing. That's so, but like, Really was nice. My like colleague, for me. My colleague made perfect landing I have ever met. A really well built colleague, Anton, yes. make us proud. <laughs> Sam, it's, it's landing was special for you. I think now 
you inspire me. I want to be on the 747 Rice seat one day. Of course. Maybe I'll start from a second officer and I'll go yeah, land yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will go with anyway. You will I will fly with you. But we will provide yeah, a staff okay, support for military, you. military training. <laughs> <laughs> High flight 2024. Surprise.